the 450 and and that that's my pin number click on ok so the next thing is maybe just minimize this pin number since I know I know the numbers just bring it down here drag it down it's not to be seen this is just because it's a tutorial that's why you guys are seeing it officially you shouldn't be seeing that okay so the next thing is to write a code here this is the the, uh, the list box is list box one so double click on this very one let's get the name that's a pin number double click on that and enter as follows if so if list number okay equals as follows all of this will come true else everything will become false that's for the list number taken care of okay so if I before I run the system let's now disable I'm going to disable the radio button so let's come here double click on the form itself and paste those lines of code in there so if I run it you will notice that the radio buttons are disabled nothing can happen on it it will only happen only if I get the the pin numbers right there okay so I should be able to clear it as well so let's repeat that for clear so the next line of code will be for cancel and for clear double click on that and enter the following lines of code for clear so that is taken care of okay so we're getting somewhere if I run it whatever value I enter in there I can always cancel or clear okay now let's take care of the bank details with the bank details I already have that on YouTube so I'm just going to copy the codes and paste so let's do that now so double click on the addition and just paste that in there okay now we have some errors here because I need to create a model there so let's come in here, add to that's it right there, click on OK. Have my model in there, just enter the following lines of codes for the model. So if I come in here, the only thing left now is just the index. So if let's right click and copy the index, go right up here, declare global variable known as index as integer. There, that's taken care of the next variables we include variables for the calculator so let's paste that for the calculator these are the variables for my calculator variable for all the other additions that will take place that is, that, that is not required and this is just variable for the currency conversion we're getting somewhere so let's double click on this if we double click on this we want it to be able to open up that so come in here and double click on this that will be number four then copy that so come down double click on display and as display to open up number four tab number four okay let's take care of the council come in there enter those lines of code for the council or clear then the next thing is double click on exit and enter as follows application dot exit there so the next thing is to take care of next and previous so let's speed that up and just enter as follows as for next okay now we need to declare a function we need to write a function for the next 
button so let's come in here and write that very function so and here is the function right here you can see the error is gone so the next thing will be just to take care of this very one previous so entire line of code in there for previous and let's have a look so we need to cancel okay we cancel just these lines of code we clear the component and i think that is all for this uh, very part of it seems to be a very long line of code anyway but uh, if you need this code you can always just send me an email and i'll forward it to you okay a couple of things more to take care of all right let's take care of this let's enter our application application that exit there dot exit there that's taken care of all right let's take care of the mini statements the mini statement itself right here it's a very long line of code so we paste that in here okay so what happen is if any of the pin number equals to any of this pin number the following information will be displayed those are the lines of code for the mini statements uh, you guys have a good look at it let's take it up okay right there take this off i don't need that so with the minute statement i've already declared i as an array so that will give me 12 of those and if any of the number enter into the into the lbl pin number equals this and this is what happened this is my array okay those are the price in the array and here all of this is displayed in the text box which is, which is the receipt and that's the receipt and the same thing is repeated for this as well let's take it down it's all the same lines of code but just different numbers that's what made up the mini statement okay that's the mini statement if you need the code like i said earlier on you can always just drop me a line and i'll forward it to you okay so let's move on the next thing we want to do now is the currency converter double click on that and with the currency converter enter the same lines of code let's go back into the form of the currency converter we need there it is the converter I need this move this aside double click on the converter button and enter these lines of code in here let's paste that in here all right that's for the currency converter delete this we don't need that okay there's a function for the conversion to take place and here that's the click event for the currency converter right there why this function is used to convert the money whatever amount you enter in this converted here and it's called in here once you click on it so those are the lines of code for currency converter the next thing for the currency converter is to double click on the close and enter the following lines of codes so that is that taken care of as well okay so if i run this program now let me run it and see how it works with the currency converter you enter select oh, i need to enter my countries in there so let's get that sorted i need that on the form load okay first of all let's move this away and double click on the form load and enter as follows and then down enter the following 
I need a time on board as well. Let me delete this. I don't need that. I'm gonna need a time on board as well. I'll do that. Let's get a timer in to prevent the error. So where is it? It's timer. There. Okay, if you notice the error is gone. Alright, so if I run it now, get the converter. Click on that. Oh, okay, that's not working because I do need to enter some values in there. Let me enter my pin number there. Okay, that's fine now. So we'll click on that and we can convert so I still need to be able to move the currency converter so let's write the lines of code to get rid of this uh, command button there so we just need to double click on this and enter as follows so if I run it let's go to converter okay. enter 5.5 72 enter that's good and come back click on that enter whatever value you need you also need to enter a country in there click on that and that is that that's the currency of this of a that's the canadian currency i'm not too sure if it's right but if it's a pounds or canadian dollars i don't know but it's working the way i expected it to work okay so that is that now so all this left for me to do is to get this calculator working you all know the codes for the calculator let's see if this mini statement works that's the mini statement working as expected and this one is working anyway so we know this works display we can always see whatever we've added in there so we need to get this one working as well all right so we just i'll just pick that up and get back to you guys so if i give it a try one more time now let's see yeah and let's say we enter some value in there name name of customer let's go for poll and deposit that okay add display and click on that there so the bank saving system is working as as expected I click on that I can always exit run the system again and you can just do what you like with this very system so what I will do next is just uh, go through it all again. Here I have my loan system, which is right there. When you loan, ask for a loan, the rates, the rate of payment, and number of uh, payments you'll be making. Number of months, and click on that. And that is how this works, okay? So you can also carry out another one or do whatever you like okay we can go to other system that's uh, the mini statement as a currency converter there so with that guys i'll just call it the end of this program if you need the codes i can always forward it to you it's a very long line of codes i'll forward it to you but just before i leave let me show you the lines of codes again here are the lines of code is very very long so if you want it if you're interested just let me know I will forward it to you it's a very nice system it's interesting you will like it okay those are the lines of codes and this very one is just for the mini statement As for the conversion, as for the calculator, 
that's for the login system calculation conversion and that is all folks so if you want it let's get in touch and the code is yours with that i'm just going to call it bye for now you all have a nice day now